So I hope to share this experience with you. It's a great lake. And if you want to be alone, get away from the tourists. This is one of the lakes you must visit. One of the challenges, however, is that one side of the lake, there is a road running along the edge. And we fairly use that to um, get up and down the lake. And I've chosen to do this part of the leg of the journey first, just to get the road out of the way. Before we get to the other side of the lake, where we hope to visit the waterfall. Right, less talking, definitely more walking now. Now the problem with this walk is the fact that it's a fair bit of road. It is a relatively quiet road and occasionally you have a bit of a footpath off the side, but it doesn't happen that often. So we're coming out onto the road again. But across the road is a pinfold. Ah, you may ask, what is a pinfold? Well, you can see it's a bit of a, like an enclosure. So if your sheep was found wandering on common land, the pinder, like a sheep constable, is probably about the best way to describe it would come and collect and put your sheep in here. You'd have to pay a fine to get them back. Now, down south, kind of more Anglo-Saxon, they use the word pound. And that's where the word impounded comes from. I have come across a few before, but they're very rare these days to be still preserved. And in fact, the National Trust is preserving this one. And this says there's records of this one being used as early as 1655. Right, onward. Now we're back on the road, but like I say, hardly any cars. You have a date stone. Yep, we do, just above the door. EB 1697. So this is where we're turning away from the road now. And the road hasn't been that bad because the path nearby has helped us a lot of the way. But we've taken this turn in here. Yeah, to Maggie's Bridge in High Nuke Farm. And you can see the lake, Lowe's Water, just down there. So we're at the, what would I say, the kind of southern end of the lake. So we're following the sign that says Watergate Farm. And in actual fact, we've come to the car park. Rather a small car park, but nonetheless a car park. And one of those rare things in the Lake District, an actual free car park, um, at Maggie's Bridge. And as you can see there, National Trust, and in fact, the whole land on the lake is owned by the National Trust. Yep, here's Maggie's Bridge. Ah, miles without, miles without styles. So there you go. We shouldn't come across any styles on this walk. We can go and take the high route into Holm Wood. 
Now we'll take us on to the high fells. And it's quite steep though, so you have to be, be prepared for some hard labour. On a nice easy walk, then it's straight down that way. So yeah, the easy option is carry straight on. Or if you're a bit more adventurous, take the footpath into Homewood. Yes, now we've gained some height, we can look back and admire the view. However, there are some slight problems. So we weren't planning to go that way, but the small footpath goes up that way as well. And you can see there's quite a number of trees blocking the way. As it happens, there is good information here. Yep, it is actually well marked. Not really going to miss this one. And there is a great sway of bluebells up here on the left. It's like a an ocean of bluebells. So we have another slight diversion, but it's the kind of direction I was going to go anyhow. But I think um, something interesting here is the work has stopped temporarily due to bird nesting and red squirrel breeding. The large trees that have been felled will be removed in late summer and full instalment of the track will take place immediately afterwards. Apparently we're going to follow the, the taped trees. This is turning out to be more of an adventure than I was originally planning. But I don't mind. It's taking me to places I've never been. You can see we're coming on the getting back to where the main route. And there's the lake. In fact, that is the far end of the lake. So this is home back which eventually becomes the waterfall which we've not been able to see because of all the blocked tracks so we're coming on this path which will take us round to the bottom of the lake and we're quite high up so we should get reasonably good views of the lake as well So we're coming to the end of completing one side of the lake and just ahead you can see the road and there's probably about 10 cars parked there so another opportunity for parking. However I'm going to avoid the road a bit further and we can just turn to the right here rather than turning on to right on the road. We're heading down off the fells now and you can see the lake in the distance. 
we're heading to a place called Hudson's Place. You can carry on this path and miss out quite a big chunk of road. Well, we're approaching Hudson's place now. But I do like the shed. It's like the view through the shed window. So this is where all the roots come together. If you want to actually see the waterfall at Home Falls, then you have to take the easy route. There used to be a way of getting round to it, kind of over the top that way, but because of felling of trees, it's kind of blocked that way. So when you get further along this path, you have another choice where you can stick closer to the lake and continue with an easy walk or you'll see later on you go straight up and then you take a turn in and you can visit the waterfall so I think what I'll do as we're going on the easy route at the moment I'll initially show you the waterfall and the route for the waterfall and then kind of come back down and finish off the easy route all part of the service right let's enjoy this so this is the fork in the road with the left being where you may choose to go if you want to come visit the waterfall on the right keeps us more directly aligned with the lake shore so initially we're choosing this option and then I'll show you the alternative option along the lake shore. Here you go, we have the wishing tree. There's a box full of pens but I'm afraid there's no pieces of wood so you might have to bring your own uh, bag or tag, not quite sure what you call it. I want more food. Saw another one wishing for clarity, which I'm with them on that one. Happiness for everyone. Here we go. Wishing for clarity. So yeah, come to Lowe's Water and add to the wishing tree. So yeah, we go past the bridge, all the ford, pass over the ford, and 25 metres down there on the left is where we turn up to go to the waterfall. So when you get to here, there's nothing really to distinguish this particular turning. But that's where you need to go if you're going to go and see the waterfall. And at the moment, unfortunately, it's straight up the hill and back down again because the path is blocked. But you can get to the waterfall that way. And then come back and carry on this way.
So previously we went that way to the waterfall and now we're heading more directly alongside the shoreline. But what you see coming up here on the right hand side is a bothy. So if you ever fancy a few nights alongside then you can rent the bothy from the National Trust. But it is very basic because it's a bothy. So I've read that technically you're not supposed to bring your own boat on here and the only thing possible is swimming. Well if you're going to swim I think I found the beach for you and I certainly saw someone swim from here this morning. So both routes have come together now, so the waterfall and the lakeside walk. And this initially is going to take us to a farm at, towards the end of the lake. And then we head over to the road and back to the car in my instance. So we all know that Sean the Sheep lives in Yorkshire. Yeah, have you ever thought about where he might take his holidays? Well clearly, it must be in Cumbria. So this is where all the routes come together and we're heading down this road essentially to get, in fact, as the path goes down that way and up onto the road and then we're probably halfway down the lake on, that, on the opposite side. Yep. We're turning away from this little road. I'm going on this connecting footpath now. It's funny, I can feel myself that kind of coming to the close of the walk. And if I can see the road just ahead. And I'm reluctant to finish it. It's been so gorgeous.